Hey and welcome to a new tutorial where we're going to make the king. So without any further ado, let's hop straight into it by duplicating this thing here like we did in the last few tutorials and lining it up so it meets the reference image. So now in front of the graphic queue, we should extrude this up. I'm going to do it fairly fast because we have already covered it in the last few tutorials. Basically the same uh, steps are repeating multiple times along the series, so I'm not going to explain them in great details uh, every time we do something that is very similar to what we did last time. So yeah, I'm going to fast this forward a little bit until we get to somewhere where we have something new to do. If you're not sure how to do these things I'm doing you, I'm showing you on the screen right now, then just rewatch the first, the second or the third tutorial depending on what you need exactly. So uh, now that we're ready and um, ready to go with the dome, just like we have here, uh, we can press Shift and S that will bring the cursor to somewhere where we actually need, need it. And we can now go into the uh, into this view option here and get in a UV sphere. So Shift A UV sphere and just make it have 16 segments if it has 32 on your computer and then scale it in a bunch just like this until it meets with the reference image. Now what we could do is just simply bring it down and whoops, bring it down and scale it up so it lines up with the reference image. But instead what we're going to do is just scale it down along the z-axis until here and delete everything on the bottom that we don't need. Something like this. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is actually merge the vertices. So I'm going to be selecting this row and this row, F3, and search for merge by distance. That will merge the vertices. You can see 16 vertices have been merged. And now we have something that looks like this. So next up, we want the cross and we want it to be flat along one side. We can't have it be rounded. So. What we're going to do in order to have it be flat and nice looking, we're going to go into this wireframe shading view again and we're going to de delete the top rows of vertices like this. Now we should be left with something that looks like that. We're just going to scale it in a little bit more and bring it up. So now what we're going to do is press Shift S again and bring in a plane. I'm going to bring it in like this. I'm going to disable the empty so we don't have to look at it. Okay, and now we're having a topological issue here because we have something round and we need to connect a flat plane to it. Now, what we can do in order to make it nice looking is we can scale it down on the y-axis, give it a loop along here and a loop along here. And now we can see that we basically need two more loops in order to be connecting it nicely. Now, in uh, in dot selection mode or vertex selection mode, we can basically connect these faces here or these edges here. You can see they connect nicely. Now if we go into the edge selection mode, we should be able to just press F a bunch of times and it should fill nicely and topologically correct. If we take a look, it looks like this. Now you can basically fiddle around with this and find out what you need exactly. So I'm just going to select all of this scale it up until here. Now I want to basically make it just as wide as this here. Something like that. And now we can get started with the actual thing. We're just going to extrude this here up. I'm going to re-enable the, the empty. So just get this, get this, extrude it up once, then twice, then the last time like this. Now we can basically uh, scale this along the X axis. Now we can get this and that, this and that, oops, extrude it along the normals, so Alt and E extrude along normals, bring it out like so, and then S and Z to scale it along the Z axis until it looks correct, something like that. 
Now what we can do in order to make this here be nicer is disable this reference again and now what we can do is basically this. Take this here, double press G, bring it out until it can't go any further. Same thing with this one, this one, and now this one, and this one, and the last one here. Now that will somewhat ruin the, the topology because now we have overlapping vertices. So what we can do is F3, merge by distance again, and lower the threshold until you see it's only merging six vertices. But now we have another issue because now we have triangles here. If we try to smooth it out, it's going to look kind of wacky. So what we can do in order to fix this is simply add a loop cut here, a loop cut here, and that should fix it all around. Now if we subdivide it, you can see it looks actually a little bit worse, but it's going to fix up once we get a loop cut in here in order to sharpen this, shade it smooth. Now you can see we're having the same issue up here. So I'm just going to give this an edge loop, bring it out and up until here, here as well, just to make it look symmetrical for this one as well. And for this one as well. That'll do. Now what we can do is basically give this here two edge loops and we're going to bring them out. So double tap G up until right here and for this one here as well. So now we got this here which looks fairly nice. We have a little bit of roughness at the corners here. We can simply fix that by increasing the subdivision by one more level. Now you can see it actually looks great. Now we get a little bit of pinching here. If you don't like this here, you can just dissolve the edges and that might fix something, but I don't think it does necessarily. So I'll just keep it there and that should be doing good work. Now we have finished the king basically. Now we just need to do some cleanup like we did with the other ones. So just one edge up here, which we need to bevel out, to crease it up like so. One more crease along here. Bring it up. And one more down here. Basically that is the king. I hope you enjoyed this, I hope you learned a lot, and next time we're going to do the one moment, we're going to do with the rook. And after that, only the knight is left, and that will be the most challenging thing out of all of them. But I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you in the next one. See ya, bye!